Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Fiery Soldiers Horoscope slash Channel's message. Stay rabbit, rabbit, if you haven't already, because it is April 1st, and it is a new month, so hopefully this tourist season is treating you fantastic. However, hopefully you like the switch up of the content. What I'm using is my beautiful setup, as you can see. Let me know in the description if you like these, or if you would, wouldn't mind just recording for the phone. Um... Today's video is the horoscope message. However, happy Wednesday. I hope you're doing fantastic. Greatly appreciate you tuning in. If you are new here, make sure you smash that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate the love and support. Today is a very interesting day as it was as well as yesterday, but the planets are all direct, okay? The energy is intense and it has been, don't get me wrong, especially closing out. 2023 coming into 2024 is a major pivotal moment that can go through the divine destined path for you or a complete avoidance suppression and hiding your ability to express your true self your authentic version and being liberated in every form and sense possible right there's love and romance career and finance your internal dialogue your manifestation journey okay it's a very pivotal moment, especially for the past yester well, past day or two, including today, coming into the week ahead, especially for the rest of the year. It's going to be very intense, but it can be beautifully intense. Sometimes you just need a shock factor that's going to really electrify that shock value to your, your values of self, your self-concept, where you currently are and where you want to go. But you cannot hold on to fear any pain, trauma, doubts, worries, and second-guessing yourself and tapping into fully trust and divine guidance of what it is you're here to do if you haven't already figured it out. However, just follow your heart, your soul, your heart, not your mind. Your mind will try to play these games with you like the Gemini energy of getting caught up into looking into too much of the details of analysis with Virgo. That's what Virgo is. But overthinking and over on what it is you should do, the steps necessary. You have everything you need in this current moment to get to the higher level. And then that's when you can start to build up more onto achieving a more expandable version of your reality, your internal dialogue and being careful and kind and compassionate and nurturing yourself, which is Taurus season, because Aries was a beautiful and intense, but Aries can be naive, fall for the bait, fall for the traps, rather social media, your internal self of things that you continue to do and cycle through old patterns, rather psychological, physical, emotional, spiritual, and this is a more depth time than ever to embody that tourist energy and really holding the value, especially into trust and faith within yourself, the universe, and how you build that connection and expand it more and learning how to interpret and understand when a door is closing, another one is open. You got a bunch of keys on the keychain. I'm trying to think of an example with my own keys, but I only have I only have a few keys, right? Now imagine this is full of keys. It's like a hundred keys. Whatever key you pick, it doesn't open this door. Okay, that's fine. Let me go see what door it opens. That is the universe telling you to just go with the flow, not truly surrendering. Because a lot of people are just saying surrender and let go. I'm not just telling you that. I'm telling you surrender and let go of the old world, the old way of living and thinking and being. And embrace the new Aqu Aquarius. Pluto is an Aquarius. Aquarius is about advancing in every sort of way not just technology advancing your connections your relationship business friends love romance whatever it may be to advance it and take it to the extreme of creation and not destruction and that is the beauty of taurus that is trying to help you pivot and understand the true embodiment and what it is you are needing to truly understand and see from a point of view that hey this is not working out this is not where I feel called. Let me allow myself to give myself permission and overcome those challenges and continue to manage my 3D. But let me see where else it is for me to go on. That is a journey. And especially for the whole rest of this year, the past four years, 
from the 2019 of COVID, the plague, whatever you want to call it, that struck a very controlling and leeching people's soul and love and liberation out of them and putting you in a box. you got to understand we have all been programmed. We have all been brainwashed. But for the people who fell for it, not spreading any type of hate, just love and compassion, hoping that you can overcome that challenge and accept it. So that way you can pivot out of that box and category that you have been put in from COVID and the way how they did it. If you know, you know. I don't got to tell you more than you already know because I'm just reminding you that since that time that struck March, sometime in March, especially with the transit, very deep, deep controlling aspect that kept people away from living their destined life. And, you know, it got really wicked and got very crazy, but you have made it this far, right? You were allowing yourself to flow through, even through the challenges, even through the bumpy roads, even through difficulties and lack of trust and faith. You still made it this far, right? I am proud of you. You are incredible. You are strong. You are brave. You are courageous. Do not forget your, the value of who you are. And don't forget where you came from. But don't hold on to it. Don't hold on to anything that doesn't serve you purpose in any sort of way. And stop falling for the victim mentality or the lack of and embody yourself into this new grounding element of Taurus because Taurus grounds everything otherwise we wouldn't be grounded shit would be wicked right so learning the value of self nurturing and overcoming and remaining into a calm state of your worth integrity and not falling for the traps and if you do pick yourself back up brush it off Accept it, learn, and apply that lesson and move forward. So, don't even know how long that video was. I am doing it on OBS, but it is about seven minutes. So, I feel like that was everything that I felt the call to say. Not even sure what I'm going to title this video. However, I want to give myself permission and hold myself accountable here is to post what I'm supposed to show up to daily. And I want to make a video about where I am going because I did record it on my phone. I just feel like it's not what I wanted. And I want to make sure it's always quality over quantity and the value in teaching and giving some sort of insight, clarity, guidance, reminders of love and self and just continue to evolve and grow. But also share my own personal journey and where I am of what it is that I want to post. So I greatly appreciate it if you made it this far. Oops. I greatly appreciate you very much, and I hope you remain into a understanding of truly accepting and letting the universe guide and f tell you this is the moment. Take it or leave it. Do not hold yourself back. And I appreciate you very much. I'll see you in the next one. Later.